This problem is about using the fundamental theorem of calculus and reading information from the graph of a function. Let f of x equal the integral from 0 to x of g of s ds with the graph of g below. Where does f have a local minimum? Let's remind ourselves of what it means for the function f to have a local minimum. The function f will have a local minimum at a point x0 if the derivative f prime of x0 is equal to 0 and the derivative changes sign from negative values to positive values at x0. Therefore, in order to proceed, we need to compute f prime of x. Because the function f is defined as an indefinite integral, we must use the fundamental theorem of calculus to compute the derivative f prime. The fundamental theorem says f prime of x is simply g of x. Because of the information we are given, namely the graph of g, this problem is in fact much more straightforward than you might think. Be careful. The answer will not be this point on the graph of g. We just computed that g of s is in fact equal to f prime of s. We are looking for f prime equals zero. That happens at two locations, s equals four and s equals seven. Let's investigate them more carefully to see which one will be a local minimum. We know that f prime of 4 is equal to 0, but we need to investigate the sign change. You can see the values of f prime change from positive to negative at s equals 4. Therefore, 4 is not a local minimum. Now we look at s equals 7 more closely. We see that f prime of 7 is in fact equal to 0, and f prime changes sign from negative values to positive values. Therefore, yes, f does have a local minimum at 7. Our answer is f has a local minimum at x equals 7. Let's do a quick recap. First, we use the fact that f will have a local minimum where f prime is equal to zero and f prime changes sign from negative values to positive values. Then, we use the fundamental theorem of calculus to compute f prime of x equals g of x. Finally, we use the fact that we were given the graph of f prime to locate the only place where f prime is zero and changes sign from negative to positive values.